Hey guys, quick video about uh, including static files like CSS, JS, JavaScript files, uh, and images from your shared Razor class library, library into your single page Blazor WebAssembly applications. As you can see, I included another project another Blazor WebAssembly single page application. And I want, and, and I have one more in here, projects uh, with SPA stands for single page application, or Blazor WebAssembly applications. And I want both of those projects, front end projects to use the same CSS files, uh, and JavaScript files, and maybe share images and all those things. As you can see, I have the shared Razor uh, class library called Shared SPA. And I have a WW root folder holding the shared static files like CSS, some bootstrap. Uh, JavaScript images, and I have the same folder in here in both projects, not without anything, so no styling or anything, just maybe to have the, the local static files in here, static files that I don't want to share, project specific. Uh, but my first attempt wasn't successful. I was trying to reference these files uh, from the shared shared SPA WW root. So this one, I hope that would work, but it doesn't. And then I went to look up some solutions, and it was all complex stuff with with file providers and and uh, codes to include those things but actually it's it's uh, a lot simpler than that i think it's a nice feature microsoft built in uh you can so let me just so this project is running let me just show you what it gives uh there's no styling here and let's change these There's a simple trick, uh, I mean the feature, is by just adding underscore content and then the name of the Razor class library. And then there's WW root uh, is not needed. You can just reference uh, those static files like that. Let's rerun it. Make sure you have the, sh the shared Razor class library referenced in your project like this. I think that's necessary for it to work, for the feature to work, this uh, underscore content feature. You can see the styling is here. If we check the page source, you'll see content underscore content slash shared SP and then the static folder you want to access. So we, oh, wrong one. You can actually see it's very, it's included, which is nice. And uh, let's run the other project which should be sharing the same styling. Then you can see also the, the styling is applied here, which is great. I found a solution on this great uh, post. 
showing us showing me that the prefix needed is underscore content slash library name slash your static folder. So the example is here. Great feature, uh, saves a lot of work or so.